David Livingstone was an explorer as famous as he was phlegmatic. However, when in 1855 he discovered the Zambezi waterfalls, he was so impressed by their power that he noted in his diary, only angels in their flight might have contemplated visions as beautiful as these. 100 years later, the Kariba Dam, built 250 miles downstream of Victoria Falls, gives birth to the largest artificial lake in Africa. To cope with the Zambezi's terrible floods, the dam is equipped with six giant valves. Since then, the succeeding wraths of the river and the powerful flow of the valves have dug out a pit with a maximum depth of 260 feet at the base of the dam. This pit or plunge pool now endangers the structure of the dam itself. This erosion must be stopped and the dam has to be strengthened. This project, bold and highly exposed to constraints of influence, meteorology and seismic restrictions, must be completed within three years. Let's see how. In order to dry out the worksite, the riverbed must be consolidated by divers so as to support a temporary secondary dam called a coffer dam. On the bank, the concrete hollow piles of the coffer dam are assembled meter by meter on an immersed semi-elevator. When their volume is sufficient to enable them to float, they are pushed to their final location. On site, the piles are completed following the same process of progressive immersion, then filled with concrete. Finally, metal stop logs are inserted between the piles, following the Berliner system, closing the coffer dam and isolating the site at the foot of the dam. In order to preserve the stability of the site, the water of the plunge pool must be pumped in stages of about 8 meters. Once out of water, the rock is dislodged by means of very low-intensity explosions, which guarantee at the same time minimal earthquakes and boulders not exceeding 30 inches in size. A network of nine seismographs arranged around the plunge pool continuously analyzes the level of the shock waves produced by the explosions. Little by little, the explosions open up the access for the construction machines that will carve the desired bearings and ramps with precision. So, step by step, 10,500,000 cubic feet of rock is cleared in less than 260 days. The plunge pool, eroded by the flow of the valves, is widened and, if necessary, reinforced. At the end of the process, the pressure of the water ejected against the ground will be divided by four. Mountaineers on their ropes anchored at the top of the dam descend the 700 feet of the void in order to drill into the rock and to place their metal tie rods. These tie rods will secure the rock and the 250,000 cubic feet of cast concrete that will definitively consolidate the fault that has appeared at the foot of the dam. Once the plunge pole and fault are repaired, the coffer dam is totally dismantled. The dam can then safely open its gates and cope with the most severe floods. In less than three years, within an extremely constrained framework and schedule, Razzlebeck will have achieved the feat of sustaining the dam of Kariba for the long term.